It's the bald and the beautiful. They know all about you. Everything from Nashville to Hollywood on My Country 96.1. Andy, let's start with the CMT Music Awards from last night. To be honest, I forgot they were even on. Uh, yeah. I also, <laughs> I, you know, I was, wa- I think it was Entertainment Tonight or one of them. And I said, oh, it's on. Complete, it went in one ear and out the eye, I completely forgot. I know. It's, and listen, I, I, I hate to say it, I say it a lot, but... Um, you know, it's the video music awards from the actual channel CMT. It has nothing to do with country radio or or vocalist of the year, entertainer of the year. No, no, this is literally a video show, Candy. Um, Got it. Just to prove my point, the winning video for video of the year wasn't even a country song. It was Carrie Underwood with John Legend performing Hallelujah. So anyway, it's probably one of the reasons I forgot it was on. Uh, but congrats, uh, another trophy. For her trophy case, Chris Young has an album coming out August 6th, Candy. Ah, okay. Look forward to that. And Charlie Pride, when he died, he left his estate to his wife and three kids. Well, now a Texas man is disputing it, says he has DNA and court records to prove he is also Charlie's son. What, bro? So, I don't know if he actually has those records, but that's what he's saying anyway. Oh. We'll see. Uh, Candy... Kanye was spotted with Irina Shake, if I pronounce yeah, that right. I think that's right. Yes. The model and as you call it, baby mama of Bradley Cooper's daughter. Right? Yes. He has a daughter, Leah, as well. Uh oh, get out. Her name's that's Leah. Her, yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, I wonder She's how it's four. spelled. Uh, L E A. Oh, close. No cigar. Uh, yeah, so Kanye spotted uh, with this model, Candy. and Yeah. Uh, much to my wife's surprise, when we talked about this in the 6 o'clock hour, she was awake and she uh, she said, what? Really? Kanye, what happened to Kim? What ha- uh, yeah, yeah, honey. <laughs> they, yeah. Go yeah. back to bed for four more months. <laughs> uh, Candy, Kevin Nealon, the Saturday Night Live star and movie, uh, you know, comedic uh, actor, Yes. Uh, he had a necklace with some of Gary Shandling's ashes in it, he said, was stolen. Very upsetting to him, of course. Yeah, that is upsetting. Uh, how about this story? Um, remember Jack Palance won an Oscar for playing Curly in City Slickers? Yes. Uh, you remember the one-armed push-ups on stage, kid? I do very much so, and he was no spring chicken then. No, he wasn't. Uh, so, supposedly, he was going to have to leave the movie and not be able to do it. He had some kind of issue. Uh, So Billy Crystal at the time sent the script to Charles Bronson to see if he wanted to play Curly. And Charles Bronson called him back and said, yelling and screaming, page 53, I die? No, I'm not doing a movie. (laughs) Not doing a movie where I die. Not happening. Oh, boy. All right. All right. That was the end of that. Uh, Jack Palance won an Oscar for it. Yeah, he did. Blake Lively's father, uh, Ernie, passed away, Candy. Sorry to hear that. He also was an actor. Uh, Masters champion from a while ago and golfer Angel Cabrera extradited to Argentina to face charges on attacking three women, Candy. That's not good. No. Uh, So he is going to have to face that. He was... Um, I don't know how it happened, if he went willingly or they had to handcuff him, but they, they sent him back to Argentina. Don't know uh, what the uh, the dynamics of the situation were. Guns N' Roses will be the first rock act to play the Vegas football stadium. Candy? Yes. Yeah. Isn't that exciting? Yeah, that'll come up at the end of August, by the way. Um, Blinding Lights by the weekend is now the longest charting Hot 100 song in history behind, uh, well, just past Jason Mraz, I'm Yours, Candy. Wonderful. And Joe Jonas said he was listening to a lot of Duran Duran and Boy George when he created his 80s-inspired sneaker line that he just released, Candy. I gotta see this. I know, they're probably pretty cool, very colorful. Yeah, gotta see that. All right, TV Tonight, the final episode ever on E! of Keeping Up with the Kardashians. Oh, I'm weeping already. Yeah, you like this show, don't you? I like it. I'm not sad it's over. Not by any stretch of the imagination. But I find it really entertaining when they go back to, like, the early days because they literally grew up on that show. They did. They did for sure. Especially the two young girls. Yes, yes. They were really young. Yeah. Um... E, following that on E, is something called Reunion Road Trip. They get old shows uh, cast back together, and they go on a road trip together. And one of the episodes, I don't know if it's tonight's episode, 
uh, features the cast of All My Children, Candy. Love it. I wonder who's going. I know. You love that show. It was my favorite. I, now that I cried when it ended. I was the, so upset. I know you did. The uh, third season finale of NBC's Manifest, I can't believe, is still on TV. I wonder what's going on there. You and I gave up on that season one. Loved it. Loved yeah. the first season. Loved it. And just gave and up on it. that's it. Like Lost. It they got, had me, and then they lost me. Because it got a little out of yeah, hand. a little out of hand. Uh, TBS, with the premiere of the new game show, The Cube, hosted by Dwayne Wade, the basketball player, Candy. All right. Um, and the Women's College World Series, decisive game three, Oklahoma, Florida State. It is fantastic. I've been watching uh, most of the tournament over the last number of weeks. Candy, these athletes are unbelievable. Really good stuff. Uh, the decisive game three tonight. And by the and way, what channel does that show uh, up on? ESPN. Ah, yeah. And uh, finally, uh, congrats to the Islanders knocking out the Bruins yesterday. Candy. Congratulations. They now face Tampa Bay, and they got a pretty good shot. We'll see what happens. There is your bald and the beautiful. Everything from Nashville to Hollywood. My country, ninety six point one. Fathead and Candy in the morning, weekdays 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country 96.1.